Hey guys, today we're doing my take on a biryani style rice. Some grilled mushrooms and grilled chicken and a chipotle marinade. You guys are gonna love it. Here's the little seasoning packet I found in our local Wegmans, but it's available on Amazon from Sean. It's called Chicken Biryani Seasoning. It has a little bit of a kick to it, but I think you guys will love it. We're gonna use it later on after we cut up our veggies. Let's start with our onions. Cut that sucker open. I always save my peel, so I'll put them on the side. I throw them in a bag because later on you can use them for a stock. You know, chop them, mince them. In the next video, I'll show you guys another way to chop up onions that's a little easier. I always keep a small bowl on the side whenever I'm doing any kind of rice or soup or anything, and I love to put just all my ingredients in there in the way they would go in the pan, and then just you sort of just spoon it into the pan. This hot pepper, you gotta be careful, it's like a jalapeno. Once you get all the uh, white parts out, then that's sort of where all the heat is. Um, I actually had to go and wash my pan and, and clean everything off in the middle of this because I figured if I cut anything else on there, all the spice would, and the heat would just transfer to everything. But they're a great pepper once you get rid of the, uh, the insides and the white part where the heat is. We're just gonna chop up some of those peppers. We're gonna throw them in the same bowl. I love having like an onion, pepper, garlic sort of vibe going on. And it has to have green onions. If I'm making it, it has to have green onions. I have to make sure I try it before I feed it to anybody. I can't give anyone a bunch of peppers and you don't even know what they taste like. Awesome, this stuff right here is a lifesaver. It's the garlic in olive oil. I like the one in olive oil a little better than the one that's in the water. I feel like they put something in the water, some sort of vinegar or something, changes the flavor of the garlic, but this one, I always have something like this in my fridge because it's easy just to pop out and throw in a recipe. I like to put the garlic on top though because when we're cooking, you wanna cook the garlic first. So that's exactly what we're gonna do with it on top. We'll throw it in first, let it sort of sizzle a little bit and then throw in everything else. All right, off to the grill. Let's get that thing started. I figured I might as well get the grill started and heat it up while we're doing the uh, rice while it's cooking away. I mean, it'll be about 10, 15 minutes before we have to turn the rice off. So I figured if I turn on the grill, at least during that time, the charcoal will be nice and hot. Back in the kitchen, we're gonna sizzle up some, we're back in the kitchen, we're gonna sizzle up some of those veggies. I got some Smart Balance, I use it instead of butter. But it's pretty much the exact same taste. I even put a little olive oil normally because then that'll even help uh, a little bit more so I don't have to use as much of the Smart Balance. I'm really adding it for the flavor. It's that depth and the creaminess from the Smart Balance that's gonna really make this rice over the top. I'm looking for that sizzle right there. You see how there's those bubbles coming up? That means that the butter or the Smart Balance is pretty much ready for the veggies. Yep, right there, all those little bubbles coming up. So we're gonna throw our garlic in here in a second. And I love to throw in the garlic first so that it seasons the oil. And as, as soon as the flavor spreads out, we can throw the rest of the veggies in. There's the rest of our veggies. We're gonna start sauteing now. I love to add some green onions.
we're gonna add some green onions later on too, but I figure I add just a few during cooking, you know, and what happens is you take out some of the sharpness. So all of the rest just flip. We're gonna saute these maybe for three or four minutes, you know, give them some color. I think I went even five minutes with them. You really just keep a track of them and you'll see how they look as as uh, we keep cooking them. I'm gonna go into overtime here and go a lot faster so you guys can see that's exactly how it looks right there. Starting to see it cook down, starting to get smaller and sort of get a little, uh, all the water starting to cook out of the veggies. So now we're starting to get some good color. I don't wanna be having it too burnt or too uh, crispy, I actually want it to season the water that we put in, the broth that we put in. I only did about one spoon of the seasoning. It's really potent stuff. I mean, you definitely, if you try it before you, if you don't like heat, I mean, stay away from this stuff. It does have a little heat. Love to make a little pocket for rice and then pour the rice in there to give it a chance to sort of fry up just a little bit. I mean, this rice is gonna have a really nice bottom to it. Just mixing our veggies throughout. I actually made some chicken broth earlier in the day, fresh chicken broth from Chicken Neck. So it was on the stove for about eight hours. So I figured I'd use some of that for this rice. That's really gonna give it a depth of flavor and it's gonna give it uh, definitely a, a, a smell and that, that's unparalleled. Here goes the broth. Yeah, I want to make sure to really mix all that up, make sure everything's getting a little liquid before we close it up. Perfect. Now the trick with the rice is you really just want to cook it for about 15 minutes. It's almost any kind of rice. You want about a 15 minutes of cooking and then you want to just leave it with the top on for another 10-15 minutes and that'll give you a perfect rice. Alright, off to the chicken. Chicken and mushrooms, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite tricks right here for grilling. I just get a piece of parchment paper and then I get another one on top. And then pretty much what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put the raw chicken on the one on top when I go to the grill. And then I'm just gonna throw that right in the garbage and then I'll have another paper underneath that's gonna help me. Uh, you know, I don't have to go and find more things to get dirty. We're doing skewers, I love skewers, I love cooking on them. I think it's just such a ancient and and crazy way of cooking. We're doing drums and I, I had to be careful not to impale myself, but pretty much what I do is I hold it on the top and the bottom and I, I make sure my hand's not behind the skewers. And then for these drums, I actually did two for each drum because when you flip them, if you just put them on one, you might end up with like what we call a little chicken wire where it'll just spin around on the skewer. So go ahead and make sure that you have that. We used uh, some chipotle and mayo. It's a chipotle seasoning from McCormick's. We got a big fat piece of chicken breast with bone in on the back and skin on the front. I love these. Uh, I'll show you why when we start grilling because that bone really helps. Uh, you can burn it, you can do anything and the chickens end up, ends, ends up fine because it sort of just acts like, like a way to grill the rest of the chicken. So definitely a big fat piece of meat I mean, that one lasted us, those two pieces of chicken breast lasted us about a week uh, once they were chopped up and we used them all week for omelets and all sorts of stuff. But definitely check out that marinade below from McCormix. I'll have a link to it on Amazon. It's great stuff. Man, mushrooms on uh, skewers are the most underrated things. I feel like nobody does them. But once you cook these bad boys on charcoal, you'll never cook them any other way. I just put them right on the skewer's hole and we'll literally just salt, pepper and oil them right before we throw them on the grill because as soon as you salt a mushroom, it starts to change because the salt uh, you know, goes inside of it and, and uh, starts to pull water out and you'll immediately see it. So I like to do it right before I put them on the grill. These are great things to have though. This is, once you make this for your friends, uh, they'll never go back. Perfect, so we got exactly one big fat skewer and. We even got some mushrooms left over for breakfast or, or you know, something in the morning. All right, let's dump that charcoal out. I love when just a few of the top charcoal are still a little black, don't, don't have any white ash on them because I feel like they sort of make the, 
burn time a little longer so it, it's a little better and you know I just spread everything out. I, I, I love to get a couple pellets from uh, my pellet smoker. Uh, this is just competition blend oak and I love to throw it on top of the charcoal because what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke the chicken for about uh, 16 minutes so eight minutes aside so we'll make sure that's all smoking get the charcoal moved around make sure those pellets are burning and then we're gonna close everything up we're gonna close the front vent and then we're also gonna close the side vents we're gonna give it about 8 to 12 minutes I did 12 minutes for this one and I made sure to get that chicken a little smoke I mean look at this grill if I can make this on this grill you can make anything on yours so those pellets are pretty done burning down, but look at that color already. That's only after 12 minutes. I'm gonna flip it because the smoke tends to go up and then sort of come back down as it like sort of works in a convection inside. So we're gonna give it another 12 minutes on that smoke. And then we're gonna move it over for the last eight minutes of cooking. We're gonna cook it, cook it straight over charcoal, right over the top. And you're just gonna turn it every about minute you just keep turning it until uh, until you you know you like how it looks or how it feels. You can usually touch it with your finger, and it should have a little bounce to it if it's ready. I put the mushrooms in there already. I thought I'd get some smoke on them. Bingo, bango! Look at these look at these bad boys. So this is what I'm talking about right here. I mean, just that skewer cooking right here. I'm in such an ancient way, but look, it's it's such a primal way of cooking that to me I feel like you know there's no other way to to grill I love it those mushrooms are coming along they're slowly starting to release their juices you can see some see their juices sort of dripping off just like the meat and evaporating and getting that amazing charcoal taste I mean look at that that chicken that color they got sizzle on it that's why I love the chicken breast with the bone in or the rib bone in because the bottom it's you can you can give it a lot of heat and there's sort of like a heat shield underneath where you have the breastbone sort of protecting the meat and you can really subject it to some high temperatures and get some really great color and smoke on it you know and you don't have to worry that you're gonna burn the crap out of the meat I mean look at these these are these are like this commercial material somebody sponsored me Beautiful, so we're almost done here. We're leading up to the last eight minutes. Those mushrooms take about seven, eight minutes to cook on each side. Um, so those are almost done. They're starting to shrivel up a little bit like they're, like they're drying out. And then this chicken's pretty much done. I'm starting to move it over to the colder zone on the right, you know, because I'm, I'm thinking that they're finishing up. Beautiful, it's almost time to go. It's almost time to go carve these bad boys up. Let's go. Man, we're back in the kitchen. About to carve all this meat up. Oh my goodness. I love any kind of cutting board that has a channel around it, especially for meat. You know, when you cut in, there's just so much juiciness going on around and there's, there's so much, you know, stuff coming out of the meat that it just, it helps a ton when you don't have to have all the juice going underneath the cutting board and, and all over everything and then you got to clean that too but listen to that oh man you hear that crunch got that crunchy skin got delicious white breast meat inside it's gonna be great all right let's start putting our plate together i'm gonna put some of our chicken breast on the plate here grilled up ready to go All right, don't forget we got our mushrooms here. I'm gonna put them right on the plate. Put the whole skewer on there. Then don't forget we got our rice right over there on the skillet, all done. Look at that. It's crunchy, it's uh, moist, it has all of the flavor, it has all of the vegetables in there. We're gonna put that all on the plate. Wonderful. Now, we always gotta hit it with a little something extra at the end, so we're gonna go get some of our uh, salt and pepper to really make those flavors pop and we're also going to get our uh, olive oil just give it a, a little douse of olive oil for the richness 
there you have it guys and that's our biryani style rice with grilled chicken and mushrooms enjoy <laughs>